Yo, what is up, you guys? We're back with another YouTube video today. Today, your boy is gonna be playing some more of this game. Apparently, there's a different ending, so we're gonna do that right now in here. Or there's, there's a different ending, but it's not. It's like a different ending in the sequence. So I'm gonna just like go in here and see if I can find the choices I did make. It was the one choice I had. Okay, as this was this was it. Uh, trust him. I'll say trust them. All right. Hmm. Just give me the card. I'll go get the money. All right. Got a credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When are you ever? <laughs> See you later. That's crazy. <laughs> it's actually nuts. She's crazy. All right. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. You are Andrew. Oh shoot, okay. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did Ashley get all this blood? That's just a good question. Got blood? Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically anyway. That's crazy. Then what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Just let her scare you a little? We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? Hmm. It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. She definitely doesn't. I wouldn't. The hell? Your father doesn't have anything to say. He has always been like that, just going along with your m mother's whims. It hits you then that you are just like him. Damn, god damn it. <laughs> With Ashley, the women are the man in the family. Um Oh shoot, I'm doing it? Okay. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you for always making you look after her. That was wrong with me. Oh, oh boy, it was wrong with you. Uh, it, well, it really was. It really was. No fucking shit. We, we are stuck with a crazy bitch. <laughs> we are stuck with her forever. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a seven and a five year old to care for. She does look pretty young for a mom. I'm not going to lie to you. So she probably... Huh. So she was probably already feeling overwhelmed as a younger parent. Uh, don't have kids? And a five-year-old to care for? Think you have fared better than me? I wouldn't know. This isn't an excuse. Mind you, it's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck up. D don't say that, honey. We did fine. <laughs> so fine. Look where we are right now. Anyway, you were such an easy child. I thought we'd just be fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so... Uh-oh. I'm sorry, I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's all my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company. Aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be foreign, though. They get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all this time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you on a... Olive branch? Shit. <sighs> Your parents are offering you an olive branch. <sighs> Damn. I don't know, bro. What if we accept? If I feel like if we accept, it's gonna mess, it's gonna get us in the bad ending. I don't know. I do want to get away from my sister because she's fucking nuts. She is absolutely crazy. Like she just wants him in general like she literally wants him and like i feel like andrew 
realizes what she wants but like he knows it's wrong like he knows incest is like completely wrong so i think she actually does love him like to the point where she wants to actually screw him but like he just he just doesn't want to do it like he can't like in his in andrew's mind he knows it's like wrong like he knows in general it's like it's all wrong but like he is so he i think he, i feel like he actually has the same feelings as ashley to the point where it's like he listens to her like his father so this damn i kind of learned a lot from this game a little bit not really a good thing though <laughs> i don't know this is a hard choice decline i decline damn well about ashley i wish you wouldn't talk about her that way let's not fight there is a solution here somewhere i'm sure what were those death certificates about anyway it's a life insurance scam nothing more how's that work this is doctor well a surgeon actually after they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment we got redirected to him and as far as the records go you died from the parasites oh shit so they really did get the so they really did get the money from the death certificates like i said in the last video i didn't even know i had any life insurance well i got it for you too after you got quarantined it's kind of curious that they let you do that so when we died were you in on it of course not. I really thought you died. They said your bodies had to be burned because of the parasite, so that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah. She's full of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's because y'all murdered. I, I, it, I think the truth is she knew that they murdered that fucking kid and they were like and she was just like nah i i can't raise these two anymore you know i just don't want to be around them because like they murdered that fucking kid which i'm not gonna lie to you i would as, as a parent i would probably have the same reaction i probably would not want anything to do with my child like absolutely like if you go off and kill a fucking kid out of nowhere i honestly would want nothing to do with you like murder is wrong in any form but that shit was insane and also extremely wrong and it was for no reason they literally murdered a little girl for no reason all because of ashley's fucking jealousy issues and just her fiending off of her goddamn brother so yeah no like she's there this is crazy where are you going i have to finish setting this thing up for her i'm gonna be honest with you i feel like if i accepted it i feel like i would have gotten a bad ending i'm gonna check later Oh, come on, forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Hell, you can even live here if, it, that, if that doesn't work out. You can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. That's okay, I'm not really interested. What? But that, that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not? Ah, oh, I get it. Oh no, no. Oh God, you fucker. What? Huh? Oh. Oh, that is disgusting, Andrew. She's your sister, for God's sake. I haven't done anything. What the hell, Mom? Then what does she give you that makes it worth all this? I She's got a good point, though. Like, why have you stayed this long? Like, I've always just been curious. What does he stay for? Is there, like, some secret play he, he beginning? late at night like oh god why am i saying this <laughs> just i was like bro uh well well that's not of your business is it andrew no no oh my goodness oh my lord oh my lord i'm gonna faint i'm gonna faint the theories are true it's true, they've been effing. Oh no, bro. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. <laughs> no, I mean, yes, you are, but I have never. I'm back. Oh god, you came at the worst fucking time. Aim at the most worst time ever. Uh, screenshot that. That's actually pretty good. 
Now of all times. This is just all bad. <laughs> I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? Did you? Oh, she is so disgusting. <laughs> She hates this and she's so disgusted. She's like, you little fucking bastard. You guys are gonna kill me and do this shit in front of me. You little shit. Like, dude, I would be so... I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I would be fucking hated, bro. If I had kids and they ended up in this fucking incest shit and they're gonna murder me. Yay, yo. I'd be pretty mad too. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I want to die. Uh, whatever, summon the fucking demon already. <laughs> oh, so eager. Let's see if it shows up though. You little bastard. God damn it. Since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. <sighs> oh, that's disgusting, dude. That's so gross. Alright, get to it. That's so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so nasty, though. <clears throat> hello, hello, Mr. Oh, Miss Satan. Oh, oh, Miss Demon. I'm sorry I don't have the good. The, I, sorry I don't have the moon music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something. Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the secondhand embarrassment. Ah! Tarsol. What the fuck is that? Um, a demon lady. It's a demon. I have with those two. Their screaming is short lived as the demon steals their souls. I wonder if I should feel something. Okay, I already went through this part, so should I, should I just read it again? Just for viewer purposes. Well, anyway, so the music wasn't needed to summon you after all. Why'd I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which, a deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. You th your trinket, uh, trinket, uh, works again. Okay. Thank you. What? Hello? This is the brother? That's right, my pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul, it's mine. Oh, cool. Oh, so things really did change in the ending, that's that's nice. I will see you again, Tarsal. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. What, me? Why? Okie dokie, bye. The entity leaves. And that's that. The trinket is charged. Wow, okay, so the dialogue did change. Because from the last time, it was like, oh, yeah, like, I don't know why I keep her around with me. But then it's like, oh, like, she's, like, lovey-dovey with him. So this is this is the incest ending that everyone was talking about. What did it mean? It'll summon you. Who cares? What do we do about the bodies? Who cares, she says? Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh... Well, on the one hand, we didn't kill them, but on the other hand, uh, but on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere, who knows. Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation, right, so let's make them disappear? Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? No, actually, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Yikes. <sighs> All right, uh, like how to how to go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right there. All uh, right, you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and an ass. <laughs> oh wow, check out this smart ass right here. Oh, okay, Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. Wait, what? What is it? Is Dad breathing? You take a look. Oh yeah, and this is when he's like actually believing and shit, breathing and like <sighs> breathing oxygen. You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is. Mom too. She don't give a fuck though. She really doesn't care. 
You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents, yet their hearts still beat, their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. That can't be- The cultist died in the warden too. Well I mean, did you actually check? And he never checked at all. I sure didn't, I just went to town and started chopping. No, no, please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. Ha <laughs> ha What the fuck is so funny about this? Yeah, this is not funny, this is actually really bad. <laughs> Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. To that? No, no, that? This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Just demon child, dude. God damn. <laughs> Jesus. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Oh my god, this, this bitch. I don't know, I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? I'll go, no, Andrew, look, look here for a sec. What? Uh, mama! <laughs> it's now! You get your father too. What are you doing? They're all dead. Now tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. Hmm. Ugh. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss the, that sigh of relief. Anyway, I mean, those were his parents. Like, damn. Like, of course he's just a bitch and moan. You drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, is this where we get the, uh... The vinegar? Alright, we gotta talk to him first. Alright, I'll start cutting you guide the blood into the drain in the shower head. Gotcha. Whoa, 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 stop it. Stop, it's flooding. Huh? Oh, what the hell? Gross. Uh, great, the drain is clogged up. And the lid is screwed. Shut. I need a screwdriver. You just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Okay, so... The vinegar, right? Truly this is a stellar mop. <laughs> What's with this person mops? Rubber gloves? Okay, there's baking soda up here too. I think, from what I remember. Yeah. Check the cop cabinets. This will be a lot easier since, uh, you know, we kind of know what's going on now. Oh yeah, we need a screwdriver as well. Screwdriver? Alright. Alright, so I give it to them. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some baking soda? You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. <coughs> the soda starts bubbling up, but the clog... Excuse me, it doesn't lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am, I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. <sighs> Fine, just give me the gloves. <laughs> this man's suffering <laughs> so much. Got rubber gloves. Let's go, baby, let's go. Yes, sir. Here you go, have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. <laughs> Fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I am armed. Oh shit. <laughs> You wouldn't! <laughs> Do it! Do it, Andy! Revenge! Come here, you! I ah, know, don't you dare! No, I'll fucking kill you in your sleep! Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry, I apologize. Fine, you are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dissembled your parents and disembowel them, and decapitate them, ugh. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of oscillating between freaking out and apathy, 
like you expected him to. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's really... It's really nothing. Wait, why is she acting like this? What? I must be seeing things. Uh, what? To think I ever bear witness to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Oh, right. Then again, I bet you're just moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm. What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. Yeah, this isn't like her at all. Look who's talking. Ha! Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering our ear parents. Incidentally, there's not there's a knot in your stomach. Ooh. So what's the plan for all this? We're to dispose of it all. Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Um, it's a lot of limbs. Let's get that. Got a head. Alright. Alright, we're gonna... We, okay, we'll go up here. We should go in the kitchen. Oh, can we burn the bodies here? It would be like cremation. There's no way that the te there's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo! Watch. You place the torsos above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. <sighs> oh shit! Give it a minute. Goddamn! This isn't working. Makes me kinda hungry though. <sighs> Let's leave this be for now. You cut the limbs with the chopped meat? Alright, this is the one I can like spam through. Oh, I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace. And what about the skulls? Well, the skulls we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. Okay, if I end up skipping through dialogue by mistake, uh, watch the other video, by the way, because that's also out right now <laughs> so yeah my bad oh I know let's turn some of the meat into soup and then okay yeah we got all that okay this is the this is where we get the carrots and the other stuff so do what you want what was that soap you made earlier and what were you what were the ingredients again the recipe is right there read it shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful it was meat Onions, potatoes, and carrots, chop everything up, and throw them into the pot. Ah, uh, there we go. Like, thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Alright, so this is it too. You pour your parents' organs in the blender, blend away. Jesus Christ. How's that? Good as gone. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What did you want, a disease or something? Oh god, of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the train. <laughs> All right, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. All right, let's go get this carrot and uh, the onions or whatever. Jesus Christ, dude, this is so sick. Let's go through the window like not normal people would do. You don't have the all the ingredients. What the hell? Simple meat, carrots, potatoes. Oh shit, I gotta, cut, I gotta chop them. Look at that, much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still need to deal with? The soup is brewing. Threw faces into the fire. Do you think the soup is ready yet? Damn, that was fast. Dinner is ready. I'm eating two? Of course. This is the last 
hearty home cooked meal for a while after all. I mean, I don't see the point, bro. Like, I suppose. That's right. Now say ah. Ah. Uh, unexpected. Oh, God. Oh, so this is the. Okay, so this is the incest route. Alright, well. Well, well. How is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but. Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, alright? <laughs> and how the hell is it dirty? This is soup. No, mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients. Out of 10. Would not eat again. <sighs> you, you will retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the things I get? Ew, I hair in my mouth. I'm sorry, you can't cook. <laughs> You're not forgiven. Wow. This is, uh, something. Jackass, eat shit and die. Well, this food is certainly shit. What? Well, come on, I'm joking. Is she actually gonna cry? It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate how about that. Hmm. Why, yes, indeed. This cooking isn't beyond my mortal comprehension. Correct. And out of this world culinary experience, which the likes of me cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtilities, su sub subtilities, 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 something like that. I don't know. I can't read for shit. Truly, when I said waste of ingredients, I meant it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings, no gods. That's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh god. <laughs> Lo behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she's brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, quarter past midnight. Should I buy lip balm? And the meat it isn't dry, god damn it's just right. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> ah, whatever, humans are hard to cook, I'll get it next time. What? Next time? Ah, uh, whatever. Anyhow, I think we've dealt with the fresh We've dealt with the flesh to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Yeesh. It should be fine, just chug this. Alright, just grab that. Put it outside. And this. Throw away the human trash. And then we clean your Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them all before I actually lose track of them. Got plastic bag. <laughs> oh shit, wait. So what do we do about these skulls? I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do all this other crap for? Quiet, you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic, the dental records. Like you said earlier, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. <sighs> this lady, bro. She's... Ugh, forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I'll find something to weigh them down just in case. Alright, I guess we're doing that now. Yikes, got a whole bunch of teeth.
yeah so I flush them down so we lose a tea bag bones with some rocks and call it a day got it Finally, all that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why, we'll have to sacrifice someone again later, anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be? Okay, because they... She wants to live here or something. We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. I wish we could, but... I don't even... They only have jobs. Eventually, someone is going to... Hey, Mrs. Graves hasn't showed up to work in a while. So they get fired. So what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the people here. The neighbors will notice them gone, despite their names still being on the floor on the door. We can tell some lie, say we're house watching for our parents, and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with each other? With just each other's, bro. Because nobody wants to fuck their sibling, oh man. I mean, th th clearly these two want to, but I... I don't know. I, don't, I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Like, that's... Bro, it's like every time he has to be with a girl, it's always about effing, bro. Like, I... This girl, Ashley, man. <laughs> Irrelevant. It's all the same. No, it's not all the same. <laughs> what the hell? Anyway, they can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing? Officer asks, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new improved Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see... <coughs> Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. <sighs> Sorry, Ashley, I wish it was that easy. Whatever, I'll clean the basement then. God damn, I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. How are you how do you think you're all in the clear? That everyone thinks you're dead, bro. Where's the mop? Got next some mop. Honestly, they should have just got with their mom and just like said that they were alive or something. I don't know. So they didn't kill all those people. They should have just fought against it instead of doing all this shit. Should I put the candles back in the box too? Like, I don't know why they're trying so hard to get through all this crap. Returned all candles into the box. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so, though. There's no way to tell if we missed something still. Uh, other than maybe see if you have a dream we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. So what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Well, if I remember, you don't? Ugh. Could you possibly give any less of a fuck? That'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. It's been a week or two. And up, your a and up yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address. Oh, I mean, that's true. Which is, of course, just as important as this. Look, it just said I need to hold on to it to have clairvoyant dreams that's it it was in my pocket last time when it happened 
then could I hold it this time? I gave it to me. I gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you. What's it hurt to try? God, you can't read between the lines for shit. That was me telling you no. I did get it. I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this? Do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that's a great idea. No, just... Why do they think about holding hands? Why they got to hold hands? We're not cutting it. <laughs> it's, that's not it. I'm, But I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. See, if either of us get a, gets a vision... How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic. <laughs> Come again? Holding hands when we sleep together? Man, fuck off. <laughs> ah, Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's fine. Though I still think I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Oh wow, there, that's really happening here. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Fuck this. How am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> and it doesn't help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So what's So that's what that little show was about earlier. Did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regretted her entire life just then. Oh my god, she's horrible. Pretty sure she just regretted giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. What? Nothing. Good night. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. Oh shit. The TV won't turn on. Uh. A sucky drawing. Wow, who drew all this garbage? Oh. Got the red crayon. Got a green crayon. Nice. Wait, hold on. Let me look at this. Wow, who drew all this garbage? Okay, so there's a bunny rabbit. Oh. Got blue crayon. Alright, so what does this mean? Where is this gonna take me? Nothing but static. Am I supposed to like, do something here? Gave the pink plushie all the crayons? Oh. Oh shoot. Uh, what the hell? What's happening right now? What is going on? TV and you watch each other. More importantly, this episode is titled Lele and Lele Alone. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. <laughs> what the hell? It's like a whole new ending here.
Oh shit. Alright. <clears throat> uh Father Plushy won't budge. A pink plushie sits by itself. Take it. Got a pink plushie. Okay. Got a green plushie. Sit down the pink plushie. Pink plushie fell off the seat. Mother plushie won't budge. Father plushie won't budge. Sit down the... Got a stool. See the pink plushie at the table, but it fell right. What? What do you mean it fell right off, bro? Bro, what's even the point of me doing this if it's just gonna fall? Hey, pillow. Place down the green plushie. The plushie seems happy together. Is that? Oh god, where is- I think I know where this is going now. Oh no, brother. It's Andrew. Andrew's green and and, and uh, a little, uh, uh, what's her name? God damn, I already forgot her name. What's this? Is... <laughs> Lele. Uh, Le, or, no, wait, really? Um, Ashley, yeah, Ashley. That's what they're- I think that's what they're doing. They're doing a whole little thing here. Yellow plushie won't budge. Hmm. Soup is brewing though, it seems to be missing something. Okay. Oh god. Ah! He was more loved by the parents. The trash can now be utilized. Can it really? Yes, it can. There's nothing in the chest yet. Soup is brewing, though it seems to be missing sun a sustenance. sustenance? Mm. Got the mom plushie. Oh, yep. Threw mom plushie into the pot. There we go. Uh, speaking of dark thoughts into existence, but more sustenance than required. There's nothing. Uh, let's see the father one. Got dad plushie. Also killing the dad too. Get that in the pot. There's nothing in the trash. This plushie appears to be quite the ladies man. Got purple plushie. Oh. That one's Julia, and then that was the girl they killed, Nina. Place the trash. I think the one was in the trash, because Nina was yellow. Do yellow plushie into the trash. A bit of a wishful thinking, perhaps. Hmm. Locked away the purple plushie. Oh, now it is exactly where it belongs. Wait, is that the right one? I thought Nina was the... Got the best thing in the world. And keeping Andy locked up. There's nothing in the cage. They're all better. Keeping Andy to herself. Ugh, this girl's creepy. <laughs> this girl, man. She needs help. Got a knife. Got a flower. Place down the... Okay, nothing here. Enamored evening. Nothing here? Okay. Sunshine. Broken heart. Finding a monster. Uh, heart.
And I'm guessing... The end? Once upon a lousy life? Hmm. I would say a broken heart, because this is like... Oh, shoot. So this is more the lovey-dovey part of the ending. So what if I choose that one? Can I save at this one? What difference does it make? Does it change? I wonder if it changes. I'm gonna go with this one. Somehow it seems like a highly questionable idea to take this route. I know what I'm about. <laughs> okay, never mind. I know what I'm about. Let's go. Let's get into it, baby. Oh, yeah. These are all the girls. These are all his little friends. Got a key. Classmates. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Parents. Mm. Oh yeah, this is where this is where she was like, I did not want to have that child. <laughs> All the girls looking and crushing on him. And this looks like Julia just didn't want nothing to do with Ashley, but Nina tried. I think Nina was the yellow one, right? I'm trying to- no wait, Julie was the yellow one. And I think Nina was- no. Well it had to be one of them, I can't tell. And Andy's the green rabbit. Got a green plushie. <clears throat> Siblings? Oh. Oh, are we revealing all of them? Oh, is she not getting what she wants? Penny for your thoughts? No deal? Come on, give me one word. gracious what have I done mortifying huh didn't seem like it a minute ago so I think you meant to say gratifying big words don't fit in your mouth yeah something else fit in it just fine earlier <laughs> oh yeah so mortified are you oh my god you know I'm used to distract they really did it they really did it! Some guilty conscience you've got. Oh my god, they really know! Oh no! <laughs> Better than yours? Oh my, come here, you. Gently. God damn it. No. Oh god, bro. No way. The vision ends without you dying. So at least there's that, you suppose. Welp. You wonder if Andrew saw it too. I thought these motherfuckers were lying! They were being for real! What? Oh my goodness, what have I done? What have I fucking done? Oh my god, oh my Jesus, I thought they were playing! I thought they were choking! Oh my goodness, bro! Maps. Oh shit, you're awake. Well, hello to you too. Uh, yeah, good morning, or evening, I guess, whatever. Right, so, hey, did you get a vision? Probably not. Really? Do you see dreams like that a lot then? I don't. 
<laughs> so you did see it. Oh, quite the vision, huh, big brother? That was not a vision. The demon is messing with us. Yeah, that's it. That's just it. Like, yeah, like, it's just like what I said before. Like, he knows it's wrong, but like, I feel like he wants to... He, I, he, I think he actually likes the idea of it. Which is... Bad. Like... God, dude, what was this game, man? <laughs> it's because we tried to be cheap and get two visions for the price of one. I wonder if YouTube will allow this video. I don't know. So it gave us a... Fate... Vision instead, that's the only explanation that makes sense. Oh, please. I mean, it is your trinket. Clearly, you were right, and I wasn't supposed to use it. Sure, sure. Keep selling it. I'm totally buying it. That's like buying? Screw you. Yeah, you just might. Fuck off. Do you honestly think that? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Listen here, you. Fucking spare me. I don't want to hear it. You just helped me desecrate our parents' corpses. Yeah, getting laid is what you're freaking out about? No one got laid, and you keep telling me I messed up. What a joke. We're not like that, are we? I don't know. You just come off that way sometimes? Huh? How so? A tad jealous? Oh dear, what's that? Wishful thinking? Lady! You, you you killed his friend! What do you mean? This bitch is crazy. Leave! <laughs> Tell that to my ex. Let's not pretend you don't have a bit of jealous streak yourself. No, that's wishful thinking. That That is wishful thinking, actually. Fat chance. Get over yourself. <sighs> I don't think I need to ask you this, but let me anyway? It's never gonna come to that, right? You and me? Never say never. Oh god. <laughs> never say never. Andrew, my dear. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's not funny. Don't joke about this. Why am I getting your hopes up? Or maybe something else. <laughs> say, did that vision get you? I'm out of here. Why is this such a massive issue to you? We've done way worse things together. I mean, murder? Hopefully, I honestly figured it would happen eventually. Why, 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 why are you like this? Why would you say this? Why would you think this? Wow, what a landmine, huh? Well, yeah, uh, forget this. Forget this whole thing. Fine, but that was clearly a vision, so it'll probably came, come up sooner or later. Well, in your last vision, a guy slit our throats, yet here we are. So let's just leave it at that. Alright then, if you say so. Andrew sweeps the elephant under the rug and calls it a day. Anyway, let's go throw mom and dad into the ocean. Jesus Christ, dude. I have to edit this fucking video. <laughs> I have to edit this shit, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I actually... I didn't think they were actually gonna do it, though. I thought they were capping, bro. I hate you. It's not my fault. The stupid bag ripped on its own. I don't care. Hurry up and pick them up. Oh, the dialogue changed for this one, too. Are we... What? Thank god no one is here at this hour. Yeah, that actually would have been bad. I'm pretty sure someone saw that though. I'm not gonna lie to you. Andrew. Okay, so don't stray too far into the light, just in case someone does pass by. Andrew drops the bag with the bones and rocks into the ocean. Since my bag broke, how do we make sure the skulls wink? They'll probably be fine. Well, in that case... Bet I can throw further than you. Oh my god, this is like... A screenshot, also terrifying. Bet you can't. Oh yeah? Definitely. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh shit. Ah! Oh, what's that? Looks like I won. Filthy cheat! Nope, you never said pushing wasn't allowed. Oh yeah? Well, here's your fucking prize, Jack, guys. It's a fist to the fuck face. Fist to face? 
Ah, uh, hug, why thank you, thank you. Arr. <laughs> You're a little different lately. Am I no fun anymore? Mm, more like, let me think. How have you been sleeping lately? Are you actually looking for a fight? I'm not talking about that. I mean just in general. Your insomnia and nightmares, how are those? Uh, it's been decent all things considered. Yeah? Unexpectedly, you seem to be doing just fine. Well, don't be happy for me or anything. Haha, <laughs> Andy's all grown and doesn't need me anymore. Andy is dead. I don't think he needs anything. Oh, she hates that. Which, um, is good. <clears throat> Even so, there's, there's a trinket too. You're apparently the only one allowed to use it. So, there's that. I don't know about that, but it certainly showed me one way to keep him around. Heh, <laughs> I suppose. Right, I'm honestly pissed we don't know what's coming next. It's really hard to plan what to do now. Alright, so what do we do? The money has bought us some time, but we still need to find ourselves new identities. Do we really, though? Can we just live in the car and mug random people for living? That's just not going to work for, for very long. Every time we try our luck, we're more likely to get caught. Then can we buy fake identities? I don't... I know people who do that sometimes. Point me to the guy who sells them, and I'll get right on that. Uh, the cultist club seems like a really sketchy spot. Maybe someone there knows someone who sells them. Probably not, though. Stop being such a... Defe defeatist? A defeatist? Let's go take a look. Say a little look see. It's a crap idea to go anywhere near where we killed that guy. Also, that motel was the only one letting us stay with cash only. Fine, but we're leaving the car in some random parking lot. Since there's definitely an ongoing investigation for that hitman's death. Right, cool, whatever, let's get going. I had a mole here? Are you coming or what? In a minute, let me finish this. Waste of time and money. I love it. Uh, glad to hear it. What the hell? End of episode 2. Wanna save the game? Sure, why not? I like how we have a lot of save points. You can continue here once episode 3, Burial, has been updated. Wow, okay, well that was something that I didn't think I was going to see. <laughs> um, shit, alright, so, they, these motherfuckers really did it. They actually were like, you know what, we're going to put the incest in this bitch. And they did, they really did it. I thought they were capping, and I, I, wow. Okay, so the person who did comment out on the first video I did, I thought he was lying. I'm not going to lie to you. Um... Okay, <laughs> they were not kidding at all. So I don't know much else to say from the last video. Um, if you guys do want more clarification, I did. I did talk about like how Andy doesn't really want to do it because he knows it's wrong, but I feel like he likes the idea of it. And the sister's all for it. Like she doesn't give a fuck about the incest shit. I think she's all in. To be honest, I she's definitely all in. I mean, she killed that one girl. Uh, told. The other girl, she was a cum bucket. Like, she, you know, she was just calling all types of names and stuff. So I, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I, I think it's canon. It's just the incest is canon, and and we can't stop it. We clearly cannot stop it. There's no, there's nothing we can do unless we kill one of the siblings. I don't know. But as though as I fought, I, I just, it's canon at this point. So it's whatever. I. Like and comment and uh, subscribe and hit the bell button for today's video. I <laughs> shall see y'all later for another Kafta Lele, Andy Lele, when the full game comes out in 2024. Peace!